The Honeywell Engine Condition Trend Monitoring System consists of an N1 DEEC with embedded trend monitoring software, a personal computer with TFE731 ECTM software, and access to a central data processing center for advanced trending features. The N1 DEEC continuously monitors engine parameters and events during engine operation and periodically stores the required information in memory located within the DEEC. At specified intervals, the data stored within the N1 DEEC memory must be downloaded for review and evaluation. We'll show you how to install and configure ECTM software on a laptop computer. Finally, we'll show you how to initialize a DEEC. You'll need a laptop computer running Windows 2000 or Windows XP and an internet connection. Windows 7 or Windows 8 are not supported at this time. We'll do it in three steps. Download and install the ECTM software, configure ECTM, and finally, initialize the DEEC if necessary. First, we'll download the software from MyAerospace.com. Log on and go to Maintenance and Pilot Service Center Support and Software Downloads. You'll find the installation files under TFE731 Software. Look for TFE731 ECTM version 5.2 and download it. If you don't see the file download window, make sure your pop-up blocker is disabled. Click on Setup to start the install. The ECTM software defaults to the C drive. We recommend that you don't change the destination folder. Go through the prompts and install the software. Finish the install and restart your computer. After you download the ECTM software, Configure it to work with your computer. First, create a shortcut to the ECTM program on your desktop. The ECTM kit uses a USB to serial adapter made by IO Gear. Install the IO Gear software from the CD provided in the ECTM kit. Once the software is installed, restart your computer. Next, you'll need to configure the ECTM software to use the proper COM port. Connect the laptop to the DEEC and make sure the DEEC is powered on and in auto mode. Go to the Device Manager, find USB to Serial Bridge, and make a note on the COM port. The COM port changes depending on the USB connection port you are using on the laptop. For convenience, Always use the same USB port for ECTM downloads. You can label it if you'd like. In the ECTM program, go to the Configure screen and select the COM port that's being used. The ECTM program is now configured to communicate with the DEEC. In certain situations, a DEEC will need to be initialized. A DEEC needs to be initialized when a DEEC is swapped or replaced, the engine is replaced, or the DEEC software is upgraded. On TFE731 Classic Engines, TFE-2 through-5, initialization is a two-step process. First, enter the initialization information, then perform an initial download. Refer to Service Bulletin 76-3065 for Dash 4 and Dash 5 engines or 76-3067 for Dash 2 and Dash 3 engines. The Service Bulletin contains a worksheet that should be filled out. This worksheet will be used to input the required information for DEEC initialization. Start ECTM and go to HHT Communication. Enter ENG. You'll be asked if you want to set up the DEEC. Enter Y for yes. Enter your engine ID code, compensation value, and specific gravity. Refer to the worksheet you filled out for this information. Make sure the MMSW setting is set to zero for auto mode. Push enter and return to the main menu. 
Cycle power to the DEEC and return to the screen and verify that the values entered are correct. Entering an incorrect engine ID or N1 compensator value may result in an incorrect installed thrust setting. Now we're ready for a download. Click on Download and Clear DEEC Data. The default password is Download. Enter the aircraft tail number and flight hours and verify the time and date. Leave the engine build data box unchecked and start the download. Fill in the information in the download comments window. Select the engine position and continue. You'll get a message saying that the data is unable to be backed up. By default, the ECTM software attempts to back up the download data to the A drive. However, the data is automatically backed up to your hard drive, so just continue the download. In the engine statistics window, enter the engine serial number, part number, and model number. The engine model number is case sensitive. Store the data, close the program, and power down the aircraft for at least one minute. When you power back up, launch ECTM, perform a download, and make sure there are no faults detected. A common fault code after initialization is fault code 219. This fault code stands for engine harness ID mismatch and is caused by an improper DEEC initialization. The initialization is now complete. For more details on ECTM, refer to Service Information Letter TFE 731-90, Service Bulletins TFE 731-76-3067 or-3065, the Aircraft Maintenance Manual, or the Light Maintenance Manual.